here's my shower pan and the drain would normally go that spot right there but by putting the drain there it goes through the floor and hits a uh, metal s substructure the structure of the van and I can't do that so I'm going to locate it over where that little circle is and I've been lining up everything off of a little screw a bolt that I put through the floor of the van and I'm going to be coming back and over just a smidgen and hopefully that's going to clear coming through the floor of the van so right there in the middle of the screen is the bolt that I used to secure the subfloor through the van and I figured that I'm about five and a half inches this way and about an inch or two over. So I've drawn a X where I think my drill bit is going to come through the subfloor and if it comes through in that area then I'm going to have enough space in here to drop the pipe down and eventually connect into a gray water tank that's going to be underneath the van here but where the original drain connection was it was too far over here and it would be hitting this support structure or van would be hitting this van uh, chassis and you can't drill into that well I think I'm going to go ahead and drill a hole through the van and see a small hole pilot hole and see where it comes out and how close to this X it's going to be and hopefully it is then I can use that pan as is with the drain relocated Well, let's go see where that hole came through and see what, where we're at. So there's the bolt that uh, bolts the subfloor to the van. And originally my hole would come through in about here and hit this steel member. So by relocating the drain, the hole comes through right here and I've got room then to drop my pipe through the floor and then connect into 
a gray water tank. So I think it's going to work pretty good. So we might as well go ahead and uh, drill out the floor and continue on. There, there's a drilled through the subfloor and through my uh, insulation that I have underneath the subfloor and to the metal part of the van. Now we just have to go through the van with a metal hole. Oh. The drain's all done. through my, my uh, shower pan and this is going to be where I'm going to have to mount my drain and I need to move it up and over so I had clear access through the floor so I drill that hole I put a pilot hole through first So, next step, is to install my fitting, or my drain, with a rubber gasket and the smooth gasket underneath and the retaining mat. So I'm going to silicone around this area here. So here's my drain now installed and on the bottom is the rubber gasket and then the thin, uh, I think it's a paper gasket and then I've used channel locks to turn this nut onto the uh, drain and that pulled it in snug against the top. I siliconed in there before I installed it and then the uh, tailpiece Just basically uh, has a rubber, as a plastic seal, sits on there like that, and then this threads on the bottom. And then that's the drain. <coughs> Now 
This is the tube that's going to uh, go through the floor of the van with the shower pan above it. And I've drilled various size of holes to uh, see what size would best fit this tube. And this one looks like the best. And it's an inch and a half, very snug going through. So I'm going to drill an inch and a half hole through the van and uh, see how that fits. Again, just to make sure that I got the right drill bit in. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> Well, that's a hole drilled through the van. Let's see if the uh, see if the tube fits through. Yeah, it does. So I think I'll get a file. File the edges smooth and put some rust, anti-rust paint on the cut. Let it dry. Well, there it is, the hole through the floor of the van. And I've made the hole in the subfloor larger because it has to accommodate the nut or retaining nut that's on the bottom of the shower pan. So the uh, base of the shower consists of a frame that I built that fits inside the shower and it's going to hold the shower pan and it's built to snugly fit in there. And then the shower pan has the tailpiece threaded onto the drain, the bottom of the shower pan. And then it goes inside the frame and it drops through the floor of the van. And it sits in there like that. So that's the shower pan installed in the frame with the tailpiece going through the floor. So let's go outside and see what it looks like sticking through on the other end. Well, there's the metal floor that dropped out when I drilled through. There it is right there. That looks pretty good. So I'm now set to do the final installation of the shower pan. Got the hole drilled, got it painted. I put uh, rust proofing paint on the metal edges so it won't rust. And uh, so I'm gonna put my pan support back in. But before I do that, I need to a couple of dabs of this C 
sealant or this uh, industrial adhesive so the frame gets attached to the floor a little bit. So we'll just put a few dabs back in here, on here, maybe here. Feel in the bottom of it.
that's the uh, shower pan now installed with a little bit of uh, industrial adhesive so it should stay pretty put now it's just build out the walls put the shower connections in and close it in